848.99 Hey, what are you doing? You wanna be on YouTube? No? Okay, cool. Alright, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Something's wrong with my GoPro right now, so I pulled out the Sony, which I haven't been really using for vlogging, even though it's a lot better quality. I try and use it for cinematic videos and keep it hooked up to the Ronin, and I've got a bunch of ND filters on it. Shit you probably don't care about, but usually I use the GoPro for vlogging because it's easier, but it's not working, so we're going to use the Sony today. So, good for you, bad for me because it's heavy and i got to hold it, I'm weak. So, anyways, I finally want to release to you guys the numbers on my Hellcat, and I'm going to go over the reasons why I'm releasing them, and the mods on the car. So, here we go. So in the title, I put Family Cruisin', and I'm just messing with him. I'm not actually calling him out or anything. I watch his channel, and uh, even though him and my brother had the little dispute or whatever, it doesn't really bother me. I just want to post it because he said his car had made 850 horsepower on Q16, which I thought was really cool. You know, that's good power for Hellcat, but I made that on pump gas. And so uh, that's why I decided to put his name in the title, not to call him out or anything, not that he even cares about my channel, so I just thought it would be funny. But anyways, that is what my car made. I'll pull out the dyno sheet here in just a second. It made 849.5, so we'll just round it to 850. And uh, what's crazy is the amount of torque that it made. It made 825 torque to the wheel. Let me find the dyno sheet here in just a second. So, I'll go over the mods here in just a second for anyone that's new and doesn't know what mods are done in the car. So, here we go. There is, oh, the camera's falling here. Here's my old sheet. So it made 787 on pump gas with no lower pulley. So this was just upper pulley, no lower pulley, stock injectors. 787 with 730 torque. And this was when the DA was... The DA, guys, you got to pay attention to the DA, density altitude. Um, the DA on that day was 6,500. I'm going to put the dyno sheet on this little, whatever this car is. I don't know what the hell this is. <laughs> um, 6,500. It was 93 degrees that day. It was hot. They were hot lapping the car. The car pretty much made 800 to the wheels that day. Everyone with a similar setup, that's what they've made on the same dyno, same tuner, everything. But mine was dynoed on a hot day, so it made 787, whatever. So I decided to finally add the Innovators West lower pulley, which is a 9.3, I believe, versus the ATI, which is like a 10 or 9.9, .9, something like that. Anyways, did the Innovators West with 1050 injectors still on a pump gas? Now the difference is. I'm on pump gas, but I also have a stage two methanol system. So I'm dumping methanol in with the pump gas. So it's not straight pump gas, but I do fill up my car at the gas station. It runs on 91 octane, not even 93. So it's 91 octane with a snow performance stage two methanol system. And here's the dyno sheet. On a dyno jet in Amarillo, Texas, DA this day was about 3,800. Damn it, this is my old one, I'm an idiot. Anyways, there's my stock numbers for comparison. 654, 605, then I made 787 with 730. Too many dyno sheets. Let me get the other one. There it is. Alright, so it's actually 848.99, so I was a little off. So 848.99, dyno jet, research dyno. Um, or just down jet, whatever. 825 torque, 91 octane, 3800 DA. It was about 72 degrees that day, so still fairly warm. Uh, it's not like it was cool or anything, but it was a nice day. So I'll show you guys the mods here. Like I said, that's what's really awesome about that is 91 octane. So I can go to the gas station, not have to worry about E85, worry about race gas, worry about flex fuel, all this shit. 91 octane. The only thing I have to worry about is filling up the methanol system. So, we decided to use my windshield reservoir as the container for the methanol. Um, the methanol, I don't know how long it lasts exactly. 
Um, because it's based off how many times you floor it. So the methanol only kicks in when you floor it. And I'm going to go over the downfalls of that in another video. Um, anyways, the methanol kicks in when you go watt, wide open throttle. And uh, I'm hitting about 20 PSI of methanol. So it's using a pretty fair amount of methanol right now. Um, but it is still pump gas, which is really cool. So you can see we've got the methanol. You can see them right there. There's a plug under the blower. But so here's the mods 265 upper, um, B Woody tensioner, B Woody idler. There's a 9.3 innovators west lower down there. You can't see it. LMI intake, like I said, stage two snow performance methanol kit. Um, JBA cat delete, muffler delete, resonator delete. It's pretty much straight piped all the way through. Um, ID 1050 injectors. And that's pretty much it. Pretty basic for the power on pump gas. Really cool, I think. Um, so I'll show you guys again. Let's go to this one because it has my stock numbers on there. So in comparison, so you can compare this you know, to what your car made. So my car completely stock. Um, 654, 605 torque to the wheels. Um, did upper 265 pulley intake, um, no lower, no injectors, just upper intake, cat delete, and the stage two snow performance methanol kit, 787, 730, and then added the lower, so up the boost, about two to three PSI. I don't know the exact boost settings, I'm gonna check on that for you guys, uh, but 848.99, so pretty much 849, and I'm gonna call it 850, because I'm a snake, and 825 torque. That is a shit ton of torque. <laughs> so I'm going to go over the benefits of the methanol system in another video because, well, I'm going to switch up the car again. I know. <laughs> Sounds crazy. I just made 850 to the wheels, which is about 1,000 at the crank, um, which is essentially what Family Cruisin's car is making. He was just on Q16. I'm on pump gas, but I do have methanol, which is essentially converting the pump gas to race gas, but I'm still able to run pump, which is really cool all the time, whereas he has to, you know, empty the tank and then go fill it up with Q16. But his car is still badass, um, still an awesome car. Tim Barth did a great job on it. He has a plum crazy Hellcat. Mine's also plum crazy, just not right now because it's satin black, but you can see it's still plum crazy underneath. So I just wanted to update you guys with the numbers. And uh, like I said, watch out for my next video because I'm going to talk about what's coming next to the car. I'm still waiting on the wheels and tires to come in. Still now not going to run it at the track because I need the wheels and tires and I'm going to change the setup on the car too. So lots more to come. Make sure you guys always comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at VanMe39. Let me know what you think of the numbers. I think it's really cool for pump gas even though I'm on methanol injection, not actual race gas. I'm just on meth injection and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.